Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. This is a vocabulary video and today I'll give you some really good phrasal verbs with up. So please watch this video till the end and please like and subscribe to my channel Parul English Lab if you haven't done that yet. And press the bell icon also so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get a notification for that. Now let's start our today's video. First phrasal verb is crack up. This verb has two meanings. First is to become mentally ill when someone has a mental breakdown or a nervous breakdown. For example, after her breakup, I think she is cracking up. This means that she is having an emotional breakdown because she is so sad. So after her breakup, I think she is cracking up. And second meaning is suddenly laugh a lot or make someone laugh a lot. For example, his jokes really crack me up. This means that his jokes are very funny and they always make me laugh a lot. His jokes really crack me up. Second is blow up. This means to explode. For example, they tried to blow up the factory. This means they tried to explode the factory. Second meaning is if you blow up at someone, this means that you lose your temper and shout at them. For example, you shouldn't have blown up at your brother. This means you shouldn't have screamed at your brother or you shouldn't have shouted at your brother. So you shouldn't have blown up at your brother. When we say eat up, drink up, finish up, this means to do it till the end. So if you say eat up your food or eat up your breakfast, this means finish it completely till the end. There shouldn't be anything left on your plate. When you say drink up your milk, this means finish it completely. And when you say finish up your work, so this means finish it till the end. Finish it completely. Next phrasal verb is bring up. This means to raise a child, to look after a child until he or she becomes an adult. So that is bring up. For example, I brought up two children while I was working. So this means I took care of two children while I was working. My grandmother brought me up because my parents were not there. So my grandmother brought me up. Second meaning is to start discussing a subject. For example, please don't bring up this issue again and again. I don't want to discuss it. Please don't bring up this issue again and again. Next phrasal verb is pack up. So when a machine packs up, this means it stops working. It doesn't work anymore. For example, my computer has packed up. I have to get it repaired. This means my computer is not working. We also use it when we stop something. For example, it's high time now. I think you should pack up smoking or you should pack up drinking. This means you should stop smoking or drinking. And the third meaning is to collect all your things together after you have completed your work. For example, I have packed up my stuff and going home. Let's leave. It's time to pack up for the day. Next phrasal verb is take up. This means to begin to do something or to continue something. For example, if you feel bored, take up dancing or swimming. So this means start dancing or swimming. She will take up the position of manager. So this means that she will begin her role as a manager. Max took up the story from where I had left it. So this means that Max continued the story from where I had left it. So this way take up means to begin to do something or to continue something. Second meaning is to discuss something. We should take up this matter with the police. So this means we should discuss this with the police. If you have any issues, please take it up with your manager. Now here I have used take it up, not take up it. This I have told you earlier also in my phrasal verbs videos that there are two types of phrasal verbs, separable and non-separable. So when we have a separable verbs, these all are separable verbs. So when we have separable phrasal verbs, then they can be used together as well as 
separate it. So one thing you have to keep in mind that whenever there's a noun, it's up to you whether you use it after the phrasal verb or in between. But when you use a separable phrasal verb with a pronoun, then the pronoun has to come in between. For example, in this sentence, if you have any issue, please take it up with your manager. So take it up, not take up it. That's incorrect because it is a pronoun. So whenever we have a pronoun, that will come in the middle of the phrasal verb. Take it up, not take up it. And when there is a noun, so that's up to you how you want to use it. That can come after the phrasal verb as well as in the middle of the phrasal verb. For example, take up the matter. The matter is a noun. Take up the matter with the police or take the matter up with the police. So they both are correct. But when there is a pronoun, it has to come in the middle of the phrasal verb. Next meaning of take up is to fill the space or time. For example, she has taken up my whole day. This couch takes up too much space here. So this way we use take up phrasal verb. Next phrasal verb is give up. This means to stop doing something. For example, I think I should give up smoking or I should give up drinking. So this means I should stop drinking or smoking, give up. She never calls me back. Now I have given up calling her. This means I have stopped calling her. Next meaning of give up is to ask people to clap for someone for the performance. For example, everyone, please give it up for Max. So this means please clap for Max for his performance. Everyone, please give it up for Max. We should give it up for her because she sang beautifully. We should give it up for her. Next meaning is to stop believing something. For example, it's a tough time, but please don't give up hope. He has given up the idea of doing business. Now he wants to continue with his current job. So this way we can use give up. Next phrasal verb is make up. So the first meaning of make up is to create a story or an excuse to cheat the other person. For example, he is really good at making up stories. She made up an excuse when she couldn't reach office on time. When you say make up the bed, so this means put sheets or covers on the bed. Make up the bed. We also say do make up. So this means apply compact blush on, lipstick on your face. Make up. Jenny will make me up for the engagement. This means that she'll put makeup on my face. Jenny will make me up for my engagement. Next meaning is if two people make up or make it up. Make it up is a phrase. You can use make it up as well. It has the same meaning in this context. So when two people make up or make it up after a quarrel or a disagreement or a fight, this means that they become friends again. We apologized to each other and made up. This means that we apologized to each other and we became friends again. It was your fault, so you should make it up with him again. Next phrasal verb is look up. This means to improve. For example, their financial situation is really looking up. This means their financial situation is improving. Second meaning is to find some information about something. For example, if you don't know the meaning of this word, then you can look it up in the dictionary. Next meaning is to visit someone. For example, next time I will definitely look her up whenever I'm in Delhi. This means next time I will definitely visit her whenever I am in Delhi. Next phrasal verb is show up. This means to reach or arrive. For example, they were supposed to be here by noon, but they didn't show up. This means they didn't arrive or they didn't reach here. They didn't show up. They showed up late for the meeting. This means they arrived late for the meeting. Next meaning is to do something that embarrasses someone. For example, she always tries to show Max up in front of his friends. So this means that she tries to insult Max or make him feel embarrassed in front of his friends. Next meaning is to be visible. 
the infection doesn't show up in the reports. This means that however he has symptoms but the infection doesn't show in the reports. And the last phrasal verb is turn up. This means to arrive or to reach. Students didn't turn up on time. This means they didn't reach on time. Second meaning is to turn up a piece of clothing. This means to fold a piece of clothing. Why do you always turn up your sleeves? This means why do you always fold your sleeves? So this way we use this phrasal verb turn up. So that's all for today. I have given you some common phrasal verbs with up. Now please practice and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel Parul English Lab and press the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day.